Hi, this is a demo of the heat equation. It is interactive, so there is a little white ball that follows my mouse, and if I click, I can change the temperature at the, at the, the mouse. Uh, the heat equation is a partial differential equation that describes how heat propagates through space. Uh, on this simulation, black means temperature zero and white means temperature one. In theory, in nature, we can have temperatures larger than anything, but because of the display limitations, we can only go up to one. Uh, the heat equation basically works like this. Uh, if you have three points, the temperature of those two points is smaller than the middle one, then the middle one must go down. If you know calculus, you see that this is basically means that if there is a negative second derivative, this point must go down. It's a, that's why it's a second order partial differential equation. Uh, Alright, then when we start the simulation, let's do it again. Initially, every point in the middle is a temperature zero and the boundaries have fixed temperatures which are varying with time. Here is just uh, a standing wave, sinusoidal standing wave. Uh, then, for instance, if I change the temperature from 1 to 0 in the middle, it takes some time to propagate around. That's basically how the heat equation looks like. Uh, I was thinking about making a game with this, uh, but I'm not sure it wor would work out. Firstly, because it's hard to know the exact temperature at a given point and it would be hard to control. This could be improved with a better palette if they have those red to purple palettes. That would be a bit better than monochrome, but I'm not sure it would work out and be fun. I was also thinking about solving this with uh, on the GPU, if it, but I ended up giving up on that idea because it's just fast enough, the CPU, for now. So yeah, I gave up on it. But also, uh, here we're using the most simple solution method. Uh, it just takes the average of the four points around a point and then basically moves it around based on that average. We could use a more computationally intensive method. Uh, this simple method, I think, is called a relaxation method. Uh, one of the things it misses out on is that on the heat equation, if I go up here and change the temperature at this upper corner, in theory, the lower corner should be immediately affected. This is notably different from the wave equation, which actually takes time for the wave to propagate. Um, so yeah, maybe with a better integration method, that would be more visible. But I, I got lazy and stopped for now. An interesting thing is that with this integration method, the simplistic one, uh, the conduction coefficient can only go up to to one. Anything larger than that can cause stabilities. So if you put two here on the conductor coefficient, this is what happens. <laughs> and it's pretty cool to play around with it around the value of two. And you see slightly different crazy patterns. So it's kind of fun. But clearly it's not physically correct, it seems. And I've also called some different uh, boundary conditions. Uh, there are some simpler ones, which are easier to see uh, what's going on. So for instance, this one is just a linear boundary. So here is zero, here is half, and here is one. And this should stabilize, and you just basically see a linear gradient at the stable solution. Well, that's it for today, and thank you for watching.